Hi, it's Mel the Red Songbird in New York City. You're looking at the Dara, and you're looking at the Masters, who um, were in charge of the Dara, and who were the um, lifeblood of the Dara. And that's Gurinder Singh. He is now the head of the Dara. Is also the emperor of the cosmos. He is Jesus Christ, the Buddha, Santa Claus, and Saint Valentine. We surrender to you, sweet Gurinder. We surrender to you, sweet Gurinder. That's a, a song from the musical I'm writing. Okay, so let's get started. Ministry of Inclusion to the Marginalized. Report a play date with husband from past life, Pavel. Okay, now this is from the last video. Uh, it cut off somewhere in here. Let's see. So here we are. Let's do Manhattan. Decode Manhattan. Ma Ann Angel Evangeline. Her attained highest energy status. Status. Adam and Eve, U.S. Queen of the Universe, best mother in the world. Eve, mother of the earth. My other, Michelle. Michelle. Spelling provided by Tarek. Outer covering. Covert eye in good goal. See the goods. That's the goal. Remember I told you, I told the Lord to let me prove to him that there are so many goods people in the world that you did, he didn't want to destroy the earth because he would kill them and he didn't want to kill the good people. I was sure of that. So that worked out beautifully. Okay. Over here, tall and tan. Let's see, let's go here. Ma and her at Tall, tan, and daughter, and lovely song. Girl from Ipanema. Tall and tan and lovely. The girl from Ipanema goes walking. And she walks. You remember that song? Juan Carlos Jobim. Carlos Ostara. See her. Scar lost, regained, third party contact, Christmas present. Okay, this is I lost Ostara, my granddaughter, and now I'm back in touch with her, and it was a Christmas miracle. I talked about it on another video. Came up again just now. In his book, 12 Rules for Life, Jordan Peterson asked why. Why is there so much suffering and cruelty? Eve, who came to earth from the sun after hearing Adam, the self-created from desire, ape, cry out for help, for companionship, for someone from somewhere out there. Song by James Ingram. Somewhere out there to come be with him. So he can enlarge, this is Adam we're talking about, his experience. So he can share his life. Eve, who had been living blissfully in the ocean of light, came up, gave up her bliss to assist, to help like an RN to one whose need was so great, Adam, her suffering, so great. But Eve took on Adam's state of being, that of suffering, because when he saw her in a state of perfection, 
a lovely beam of light who was, who was perplexed by his brutality toward her. Adam's madam became a damsel in distress, suffering his raping her, beating her, and otherwise causing her pain and degradation. Women who are one eaves wet or on I put one it should be on eaves wavelength are attracted to males who are needy and bad cruel they try by marrying them the women try by marrying the, these needy cruel men to fix them through loyalty and kindness. It's been billions of years since the animal, the ape, began taking revenge on Eve for having a sweet loving relationship with their son Cain who was part light and part dirt and who showed Eve a kind and gentleness she had never known since leaving the ocean of light, bliss, and arriving here on earth. So Eve has been suffering long though through her, though her intentions had been to do good. She was a do-gooder like Clara Barton, the RN, who founded the Red Cross. That was, um, I have a picture here somewhere. Where's her picture? I had a picture. Uh, here it is. This is Claire Barton now. Her name is Jessica Toner Mentia. And she founded the Red Cross. She was a hero during World War II. Okay, uh, like Jesus Christ, who red-blooded stained the cross upon which he, the perfect man in the first century, was murdered, mild red, husband, by apes who look like humans, subhumans though, whose ancestors choose had been of animals and who had evolved to become the choose they did choose Jew Juice Juice Wall Street editorial the news the cultural blues different names same game Adam's creation instead of elation caused Adam suffering Adam's crying out his pain the gain again sympathy from a grand dame he gave her the suffering because he was an animal because animals are brutal and cruel they haven't evolved to learn better to learn empathy not sympathy nor love they don't listen to their conscience they don't have conscience they were mismatched Adam and Eve she was light, truth. He was the lack of truth, lack of knowledge, abysmal ignorance. The animals in human form who descended to torture a gang of Adams, the apes, a lone woman, Eve, unprotected, have not a sub. They are low IQs. Trying to get this paper separated. Okay. Subhumans. Creations at the level of cockroach humans and bed bugs. Absolute torturous pests. Decode torturous. Terrestrial ordered mild red. The you, I owe you of us. 
United States light knowledge, bright, high IQ, right moral, insight genius, presents Eve, energy saint, talk and share, delay gratification, to kill perpetrators, and at last, cure Adam, guide to self-awareness, self-real life, causation, self-realization. Adam, after billions of years, has evolved to see what he is doing, to real alive what he has done, feels empathy and remorse, chooses to make a choice to stop hurting Eve and start learning healing, loving Eve. And that's how the world changes. Eve forgives Adam after she sees, feels he loves her completely and starts to love him too. Women who are on Eve's wavelength do what Eve does in their own lives. And those men who are on Adam's wavelength copy him. They keep it that way way by doing talk and share when the need arises throughout each day and night but not at bedtime that's when physical love makes everything feel all right the perfect delight pleasure makes things come out right the scales balance love's met the challenge it took a long time, but it was worth the grind. The world stays in its prime. Now everything's just fine. To Milton Harris, once John Milton, author of Paradise Lost, Homer, author of Iliad and Odyssey, Homer Simpson, and counterpart to the planet Pluto. Pluto rules Scorpio, the planet of secrecy and the underworld. My husband Michael John Spear relates to Scorpio. He has Scorpio rising. He was Hitler's architect Albert Speer and he was the guillotine operator during the French Revolution who chopped off my head when I was Marie Antoinette, Queen of France. As a child, Milton once said in writing group, he thought he was a scourge of the earth, a person or thing that causes great suffering and trouble. Note, warning clue from UK, Robin Birdsong. I digress. There is a video that will be launched tomorrow, which is today, in WhatsApp, and it's called Martinelli. Do not open it. goes into your phone, and nothing you do will fix it. Spread the word. If you receive a message to update WhatsApp goals, do not open it. They just announced this on the radio. Tesla, who is the invention, that the virus is serious. Send notice to everyone. Okay? Now, let's go to the next topic. Fun video if you have a sense of humor. Accidental racism. PewDiePie channel. PewDiePie was a samurai soldier in a past life and he was Eve's son in one of his past lives. Eve's sons become her husbands in the next life. That's how it used to work. Your son became your husband in the next life. Okay, but now that we have eternal life, we just stick to what we have already. 
may swim in close to you from Eve, judge at judgment day. W.J., the Western Journal, C.T., Conservative Tribune, Trump unloads a CNN reporter on White House lawn proclaiming he failed campaign promise by Brian Chai, January 5th, 2019, excerpts. Move over, Jim Acosta, another CNN reporter is gunning for your title at least of least likable White House correspondent. CNN's Caitlin Collins once again found herself in the crosshairs of President Donald Trump after punish, pushing him with her line of questioning about funding a wall along the U.S.-Mexican border during a news conference Friday in the White House Rose Garden. Song, I never promised you a rose garden. You know you got to have a little rain sometime. Okay? Martina McBride sang that. So you ran, Collins went on to say, you ran your campaign promising supporters that Mexico is going to pay for the wall. Here we go again, Trump immediately retorted. The president was right and that the wall she went on to say, it was going to be made of concrete. You just said earlier that the wall could be made of steel. Putting a bizarre, she continued, putting a bizarre emphasis on the construction material for the border wall. And right now our government is shut down over a demand from your administration that the American taxpayer pay for the wall. So how can you say you're not failing on that promise to your supporters? She asked, clearly trying to needle the president, stick him with the point that hurts. Trump never wanted to back down from a confrontation, responded with a, healed, with a healthy dose of sarcasm and facts. Trump explained to Collins how the USMC trade deal would help pay for the wall. I just told you that we just made a trade deal and we will take in billions and billions of dollars, far more than the cost of the wall, he said. The wall is peanuts compared to what the value of this trade deal is to the United States. Trump then noted the irreverence, irreverence of the materials used to build the wall, saying, as far as concrete, I said I was going to build a wall. I never said I was going to build a concrete. I said I'm going to build a wall. C.T. Poe, do you like the way Trump answered that question? Yes, 100%. Voted yes, 90 votes. No. Zero percent. He then continued in blistering fashion. Just so you know, because I know you're not in the construction business, you don't understand something. We now have a great steel business that's rebuilt in the United States. Steel is, a, is stronger than concrete. If I build this wall or, or fence, or anything that Democrats need to call it, because I'm not into names, I'm into production, I'm into something that works. If I build a steel wall rather than a concrete wall, it will actually be stronger than concrete. Stronger, song by Edwin Birdsong, sampled by Kanye West. Trump went on to say he would have the wall built by the steel companies in our country which he said have become powerful over the past two years because of me and because of our trade policies. Trump and the White House banned Collins after she had asked inappropriate questions back in July. Collins also gained notoriety in October for pushing an absurd narrative 
about Justice Clarence Thomas' confirmation. One thing is clear. This is a two-person race to the bottom. <coughs> Excuse me. Between Collins and Acosta. And regardless who wins, the American people lose. We are committed to truth and accuracy in all our journalism. Brian Shai, social media editor. If I could have two television shows and two movies on a desert island, they'd be The Office, the American version, and Breaking Bad, The Dark Knight, and Die Hard. I love sports, video games, comics, movies, and television, and I guess my job, too. Okay, next topic. TTN, Trump Train Network, 2019, January 4. Huge win for Trump. December saw 312,000 jobs added. All right, congratulations, President Trump. Next topic, People.com. Brian Adams, Corinda Singh G. Projection, is a vegetarian, and he surprised crowd at Pretty Woman. The musical got a big surprise on Thursday with unannounced performance by Adams, the Canadian singer known for hits like Summer of 69, Heaven, Have You Ever Really Loved a Woman, and Everything I Do, I Do It For You. Okay, I... Let's decode everything. Eve, E V E, her I, youth is no youth I sexing good girls. I say I do marry and join. And join because he sings and they listen, and they're one together. Video Infowars Moon Debate Harrison Smith and Owen Benjamin, January 3rd. Check that out. Another video Owen Benjamin Clips. I know it's the same one. Owen Benjamin Clips Channel. Spread, spread the word, hashtag Alex Jones. Another video, 195. Mother, should I trust the government? Benjamin, Owen Benjamin channel. Bananas decoded. B N as angel. Ann is an angel, yes, we know. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Former President Harry Truman, now sing bird song, who was the perfect living master, started our Vardu Jagat Singh here. And he was uh, Christ Consciousness. Jagat Singh was Christ Consciousness. He was King, sing bird song was King Arthur. He was Jimi Hendrix, Superman, now Black. Sheldon, as I originally thought, the sing bird song is Superman without the accident. Excuse me while I kiss the sky. No, excuse me while I touch the sun. There is touching the sun. See the eye? The sun is the eye, the third eye. Uh, sing bird song is the grandson of the sun. Sardar Vardy, okay, and then down here. Jimi Hendrix song Excuse Me While I Kiss the Sky Jimmy jumped out of airplanes he was a paratrooper while stationed at Fort Campbell, Kentucky Sing Bird Song was a samurai soldier King Arthur Sing Bird Song King Charlemagne King Menelaus, husband of Helen of Troy, sing bird song with Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, and he was George Gershwin, the jazz classical composer, Jewish. Sing bird song's face is lit up by the sun. The sun above 
up in the sky is number one. Noticing is using one finger to point up with. Yeah, he knows that too. He knows who his grandfather is. Musings. Thoughts going through my head January 4th. When my son Singh was a child, he discovered Miles Red telling him that he had the planet Saturn in his eighth house of death, sex, and rebirth. Saturn. Sat at turn. Sat at turn. Attention you earned. Attention you earned. Queen of Universe. That's Eve that Peace is talking about. Singh asked me what Saturn in the eighth means. I said Saturn rules old age. It could mean that you're going to live a long time, forever. Or it could mean that you're going to have a debilitating disease. I gave Singh the healthiest diet possible, breast feeding him, then lacto vegetarian diet, no meat, no fish, no eggs, nor anything containing their essence. When he got older, Singh became a vegan, then Singh became raw. He eats only raw fruits and vegetables. He said that's how they ate in the beginning when all was perfectly acceptable because I told Singh the truth he was able to knock out the possibility of his body getting sick of incompatible foods he never gets sick Although he once got tendinitis in his wrists because he practiced playing the guitar for so many hours, his fingers bled and his wrists were overworked. Okay, it's Mild Red Songbird in New York City. The next video I'll talk about Robin Birdsong, who was Queen Victoria, Empress of India. Okay, talk to you on the next video.